Hello fellow knowledge seekers. Welcome back to the Knowledge Emporium, your one-stop shop for understanding the fascinating world around us. Today, we're journeying to the bottom of the world to explore a phenomenon that's puzzling scientists and raising alarm bells. Antarctica is experiencing a deep winter heat wave. Let's delve into what's causing this unusual event and its potential fallouts. Antarctica, the world's coldest continent, is experiencing a heat wave in the midst of its winter season. This is the second time in two years that record-breaking temperatures have swept through the region. To put things into perspective, temperatures in parts of East Antarctica are currently ranging from minus 25 degrees to minus 30 degrees Celsius. While that might still sound cold, deep winter temperatures here usually vary between minus 50 degrees and minus 60 degrees Celsius. Since mid-July, ground temperatures have been averaging around 10 degrees Celsius higher than normal, with some days seeing temperatures up to 28 degrees higher. These elevated temperatures are alarmingly high for the permanently frozen continent. So, what's causing this unusual heat wave? Scientists believe it's mainly a consequence of the weakening of the polar vortex. The polar vortex is a band of cold air and low pressure systems that spins around the poles of the Earth in the stratosphere. It usually remains strong and stable during winter in the southern hemisphere, keeping cold air trapped over Antarctica and preventing hot air from entering. However, this year, large-scale atmospheric waves have disturbed the vortex. These periodic disturbances in the fields of atmospheric variables have released trapped cold air and opened the door for warmer air to enter the region. As this warmer air traveled downwards from the upper atmosphere, it caused an increase in temperatures. Thomas Bracegirdle, Arctic Research Station. A weakened southern hemisphere vortex is a rare event that is only expected to occur once every two decades on average. This is a very unusual event from that perspective. Several other factors could also be at play. One of these is the reduction of the extent of the Antarctic sea ice. In June, the extent of Antarctic sea ice was the second lowest ever for that time of year, a little more than the extent recorded in June 2023, the lowest ever. Sea ice plays a crucial role in keeping temperatures down in the polar regions. Its bright white surface reflects more sunlight or solar energy back to space than liquid water. Sea ice also ensures that the air remains cool by acting as a barrier between the cold air and the relatively warmer water below. Edward Blanchard It is likely that having less sea ice and a warmer southern ocean around the Antarctic continent loads the dice for warmer winter weather over Antarctica. From this perspective, it might be a bit less surprising to see large heat waves in Antarctica this year. Global warming has also hit Antarctica harder than elsewhere on the planet. According to a 2023 study published in the journal Nature Climate Change, the continent is likely warming at a rate of 0.22 degrees Celsius to 0.32 degrees Celsius per decade. This is almost twice as fast as the rest of the world. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC, has estimated that the Earth as a whole is warming at the rate of 0.14 to 0.18 degrees Celsius per decade. Antarctica's hot winter will likely lead to further losses of the Antarctic ice sheet, one of the world's two major ice sheets, the other being the Greenland ice sheet. This can potentially raise global sea levels by hundreds of feet. Antarctica has already lost 280% more ice mass in the 2000s and 2010s than it lost in the 1980s and 1990s, according to a 2019 study published in the journal PNAS. In March 2022, when the continent witnessed its largest heat wave and temperatures in East Antarctica soared to 39 degrees Celsius above normal, a portion of the ice sheet the size of Rome collapsed. Rising temperatures will also impact the global ocean circulation system, which regulates climate by storing and transporting heat, carbon, nutrients, and fresh water around the world. A 2023 study published in the journal Nature showed that the melting ice in Antarctica is slowing down this circulation. 
The fresh water from melting ice reduces the salinity and density of the surface water and diminishes the downward flow to the ocean's bottom. A slower global ocean circulation system will lead to oceans absorbing less heat and CO2, intensifying global warming and increasing the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events like floods and droughts. The heat wave also poses a significant threat to Antarctica's unique wildlife and ecosystems. Many species, like penguins and seals, rely on the sea ice for hunting, resting and breeding. The reduction of sea ice can disrupt their habitats and food sources, putting their survival at risk. Additionally, the melting ice can lead to an increase in fresh water, which can stratify the ocean and reduce the upwelling of nutrients. This can negatively impact phytoplankton, the base of the marine food web, and have cascading effects on the entire ecosystem. So, what does the future hold for Antarctica? If current trends continue, we could see more frequent heat waves, further ice loss, and significant sea level rise. It's a stark reminder of the profound impacts of climate change. But it's not all doom and gloom. By understanding the causes and consequences of these events, we can take action to mitigate their effects. So, what can we do? Reducing our carbon footprint is a great place to start. This can be as simple as using energy-efficient appliances, driving less or eating less meat. Supporting renewable energy sources and advocating for stronger climate policies can also make a big difference. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Antarctica's deep winter heat wave. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more from the Knowledge Emporium. Stay curious and we'll see you next time.